to Tinder for eight months. Look at that. It was an accident, How? Justin. Eight months worth of accident? Eight months? I made an accident too, getting back with you. We done. You good? <laughs> were alone last night. Mm. He really opened up to me and... Have you engaged in oral sex with anyone other than Ebony? Oh. Why the me? Why? We asked Caitlin, since dating April, have you had sexual contact with <laughs> any men? If you fail this, I'm with the ring. You did no. Lie detector determined, however... Do you know that John thinks you're cheating on him? Yeah, I know that because he's not supposed to bring that up and he still keeps pondering that over my head and stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you think there's a chance that he's cheating on you? It's a possibility. Something ain't right, huh? There's something else you want to talk to the throw about? Yeah, I have a secret to tell you. <laughs> that at your mom's house? Oh my God! I think one of my sisters is sleeping with my man. I caught them in the bed one day watching a movie. Y'all can't abide by my rules. Like Robert said, y'all gonna have to go. So, so what do you... You know what I would do? I would kick them both out. Are you cheating on Sierra? No, I'm not. Uh, she, I don't know what's wrong with her, yo. I'm gonna ask the audience, is it a problem with me having a drink with a co-worker or a friend? I don't know why you're talking to them, because they're not listening to you. Other than the one time Sierra knows about, Listen. have you had sexual intercourse with any other women? Basim said no. Lie detector determined, however... Welcome. Infidelity is one of the worst things that can happen in a relationship. Once a partner's trust is lost, it's almost impossible to get it back. Today, we're going to take a look at some of the most memorable cheating stories from the past season and meet the guests who came here to confess or to find out answers about their suspicions. First up is Nikki, who brought her longtime boyfriend to the show to confess that she had been sleeping with a co-worker. Take a look. So you brought Sylvester here to tell him something. Um, hey, my six is exactly dry. What's up? You know I love you. Look at me, look at me. What's going on? What's up? The reason why I... Why are you shaking? I brought you to this show is to tell you that for eight months... Look at him. I've been cheating with a co-worker. You got to hear me out, Sebastian. Uh, what? For, for eight months, I've been cheating with a co-worker. I feel like it's your fault, because in the beginning... Oh, in the beginning... How the hell is it my fault? I'm Nikki. Nikki. No, with who? With who? Who the... The reason why I'm really telling you this, Sebastian, because he's making it hard for me, is like, either I tell you Nikki. or he's going to tell you. So, so you might as well tell me his name so we can just get, get that out the way then. Yeah. We might as well just get that popping then. We might as well just get out the way. Eight months. I've been busting Eight months. 12 hour shifts, 13 hour shifts for, for, for what? What the hell are you talking to me about marriage for? I do. What the hell are you going to talk about marriage? You cheated. I made a mistake. You cheated in the past. You done a lot Then why you take me back then? Why you take me back? Because that's what you do when you in love. You take it back because you think it's going to work and you pray on it and make sure it's going to work. But you cheating. I'm lost. I'm lost. You just, you just said, you just said, if you take them back, you gotta forgive them. But you, you did it. Was it out of spite? Was it tip for tat? I, can't, I, I don't can't understand. Say if it was out of spite, because understand. it was more. It, it wasn't like I started anything or I wanted to happen. And obviously, we, we you would started go something. out. We would go out and we would have fun, and then it. So we going out with coworkers I, now. We a team, Nikki. Really? And we are, and we supposed to be a team. How the hell are we supposed to be a team? In eight months, you being a team with somebody else. Oh. You talking about? Who you talking about? I just really feel like I took you back through all your wrong and all your madness, been there with you through But you ain't time. really take me back. You ain't really take me back because you went and did something else. What are you talking about? What did you take back? What did you take back? No, 
you wish you could take back cheating. What do you mean? You wish you could take back cheating. I don't understand, Nick. I don't understand. You be on my back. You be on my ass every day. Are you I don't perfect, understand. Sebastian? I'm far from perfect. Haven't you done I'm your far, wrong, Sebastian? I, and you forgave me for him, right? So why you can't do the same for me? How long? Because you never forgave me. You never forgave me. You still cheating? What you talking about? Thank you. You ain't forgave me for nothing. What you talking about? I forgave you. How? I forgave you. You forgave me when God was somebody else. Is that forgiveness? Is that forgiveness? I you forgave about? you, and what happened happened. I'm here to correct it and make it better. I want to move forward. I don't want the side piece. I want to be with you. It was an accident, Sebastian. Eight months worth of accidents? Eight months? Eight months worth of accidents? What? So, so, so when I was at work, when I was at work busting my ass, what was you doing? At work busting my ass? Apparently you was. She was doing plenty of work. He just wasn't in the store. Right. I don't understand. Why would you even say something like that? Apparently, I, I was. Because you know I work 10 hours shift, too. But you, you got benefit. Apparently, you work in 11. You work in 11, apparently. Well, maybe if you, you know what I'm saying, would give me more attention. What more attention do you want? I want more. You have to correct the lie. Don't I got to go to work? Yeah, you should go to work. It? Why, are you trying to, why are you trying to turn it on him? Because at the end wrong? of the day, it's his fault. You showed me. It's his fault. You just said in the beginning. You just said you forgave me. I want to be with you. It ain't about them. They don't go home with us. They don't know what we do. I don't know what you do. What you talking about? What the hell you talking about? Here's the thing. What you talking so about? So an accident, an accident happens what? once. Thank you. What kind of accident happened? You said hey, you look. had sex with this guy 20 times plus. 20 times? Right? I right? fell on the 20 times. OK, I got you. Right? I got you. That's true. You right. Right. Yes, I made an accident too. I made an accident too getting back with you. We done. You good. Oh. So it's like that. So all of this been through. So, so this don't mean nothing. All of this been through. Why would you, 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 you even put me through this? Put you, why, why the hell? Why you bring me here to do all this? You could have just told me at home. You could have told me at home and saved me the flight. I didn't know how to tell you at home. I didn't know. Get away from me, man. Get away from me right now. So that's, don't do me like Get away from you. me right now. Don't do me like Don't touch me. Don't touch so me. Don't touch so, me. Don't touch don't me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. So here's you know why she brought you here, right? No, I don't. To she embarrass you. She brought you here because, because no, the co-worker was going to tell you before he, she did. Well, why you let him tell me then? Why not let the streets tell you anything when I can tell you myself? On TV in front of everybody. You right. I don't know why the streets would let me know. I don't know why. He was allegedly going to tell me, right? So here's the, here's the thing. But you need more time for me? You getting time from somebody else. What the hell are you talking about? How much time you need? That was more like, uh, I was just playing at first. And then it went too far. So the first month you was playing. What about the second month? When you got to the fifth month, what happened? Like, really? When it on TV, you don't try me like this. I don't understand, Nick. Nick. I said I'm sorry. But you just did the you. same thing to him. I said I'm sorry. You just blamed him for your infidelity. He was it's his fault. I gotta say this to you, Nikki. Honestly, in all honesty, I have never heard so much garbage out of somebody's mouth. I don't understand. Right? Because, because when you and you in your own words, you said you hit him hard. He changed his life. He did all he, these things. He, he came out here. He was happy as a clam. He's talking how and he's amazing. Still happy. <laughs> he's not. And he's still he's not. happy. Because of mistake. And he's still gonna go home with me. And, and we're still gonna nah. be together. Nah. And he's gonna and forgive he does, me because nah. I forgave him. Nah. And if he does. Nah. Then same on you. Nah. You you right? nah, eight months, <laughs> hell no. Nah. 20 times. <laughs> 20 times. 20 times. 20. 20. Okay, 20 times. There you go. There you go. It's going to be 20. So, is this, is this done? You don't deserve this. 21 <laughs> You're working too hard. This ain't right, man. This ain't it's right. It's over and done with. I don't want my side. Peace, I want Sylvester. That's, That's why I'm here. That's to so, my so, let me ask, so let me ask, let me ask, I'm not perfect. Uh, I am not perfect. So, I made my wrong, and I'm owning up to my wrong. We could have just played. I'm owning up to my wrong, Sylvester. I'm owning up to my wrong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Sylvester. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I'm sorry that what you did, I did to you. You mad at me for putting the you on you. That's what you mad about. All right. Okay. So, let me ask this question. No more, though. So where is this relationship right now? We're Whatever. together. Whatever. We ain't, we ain't nothing. We ain't How we nothing. not together? We ain't nothing. How we not? We ain't nothing. How we not? We ain't nothing.
We came here why, to do why, why are you crying? Separate. Why are you crying? Now, don't cry now, because you wasn't crying 20 times now. Now, don't cry now. Don't cry now. Everything that we've been through, Sylvester, so I've been there for you. You been? You, I thought you was. I've been there I for you. I thought you was, Nikki. And it's one, was. and it's one thing, you just gonna let it just tell no, everything? It's 20 things, that's why I'm gonna let it tear it down. So, is there any forgiveness, or? So, you tell me that you can't forgive me, Sylvester. I can't deal with that. No, look me in my face and tell me. Look him in his face, man. Look him in his face. I can't believe you. Nick, Nick, and nobody could have never told me nothing about you. Nobody could tell me nothing about you. And that's why you. I came and told you. Nobody. Yes, on the streets can't. Or nobody but could. But you just said, said a dude was going to come up to me and tell me anyway. And that's what I'm so telling you. So you waited to the last minute. Right. So you waited to the last minute. You ain't tell me, so you had to tell me. So you had to tell me. So, so would it have continued? It would it have continued? It's my fault, right? If there wasn't a threat of somebody else telling him, it would have gone on, right? No. Yeah. It would have continued. Yeah. Yeah. So obviously, this is done. Just, no, I can't do this right now. I can't. Okay. I can't. Here's the thing, Nikki. You can tell your side piece that you can stay with him because I think he's done. You can stay with him. I don't want the side piece. Up next, a woman fears that her boyfriend is cheating on her, even after she gave him a second chance. Don't go anywhere. Come back. After seeing her boyfriend Zolly with another woman, Ebony suspected that he might be cheating. And it turns out she was right. But despite giving him a second chance, something still seemed off. So she brought him on the show to find out if he was still cheating on her. Take a look at this. So there's some turmoil going on with uh, your relationship, huh? Yes, there's definitely some turmoil. My boyfriend has cheated on me in the past, and now I assume that he is cheating on me again. So let me ask you this question, which I'm sure the ladies in the audience are thinking right now. If he cheated on you once, why are you still with him? Because I forgave him. I forgave him. I forgave him. You forgave him. I forgave him. So why do you think he's cheating on you again? What What's happened to... Well, in the past, well, I'm going to start with the past situation. I actually, when I did catch him cheating, he, um, we got into a big argument about 2 o'clock in the morning. He abruptly left the house, and I didn't see him no more until I went to work. When you say no more, what does that no mean? No more that night, period. Okay. We were, okay. It was no okay. more. So it was around about 9 o'clock in the morning. I was on the way to take my daughter to the sitter. And I actually seen him coming out of the house with the female, and they were walking. Wow. I drove, yeah, driving, because I had my child with me. I did not want to, you know, have a bad reaction. So I said, I see you, and I kept driving. I went on and dropped her off. I came back, and he was nowhere to be found. He saw me, so he got, he got gone. All back. I seen the girl. She was at, you know, one of a food restaurant in the area. Good God. And I asked her, where is he at? Because he wasn't with her. Look so I'm like, where is he at? She was like, I don't want any problems. And you want problems. Yeah, exactly. Did you know this girl? I've seen her in the past. Okay. I never suspected anything of mm -hmm. that until that day I seen them coming out the house. So today, I just want to get answers to so, why. Well, he's got some, uh, definitely some answering to definitely. do. So Zali, come on out. Yeah. Yeah. It's you, and you're not gonna it's make me feel mind. like I'm a fool. It is you. It's in your mind. It's I you. keep telling you. I already told you. You keep telling me. I you told me you. that, but where were you at at six o'clock in the morning? Uh, where were you at then? Why, why won't I get you? Why won't you get yeah, Where, like where you were you at six in the morning, Zolly? Right. Doing something I wasn't supposed to be doing. You feel me? Sit down. Take a seat. Welcome to the show. Uh, Let me ask this question. If it was reverse roles and Ebony came in at six in the morning, would you have a problem with that? Yeah. Saying, saying, yeah, yeah, just, just saying that she was with, she was at her cousin's house with her cousins, just like you said, right? She was there. How would you feel? Just a question. You think something wrong going? Yeah. I'm okay. keep it on. I don't so how's you would be mad. It's not a probably. I would be. Okay. How's your relationship? That's pretty cool. Yeah. Decent. <laughs> Saying. So you used to have sex. I'm over the devil. You okay. feel me? Yeah, that's my, that's my baby. You feel me? So there's a young lady, uh, Rebecca, stand up, please. Sully, look familiar? Yeah. Come on. Rebecca, man. what happened in the, in the dressing room or the... Uh... Well, when me and Z were alone last night, mm. Mm. he really opened up to me, and he did tell me he had been cheating, 
But he also said that he did not love her, that you kind of loved her. How you gonna try to come here and embarrass me? How you gonna try to embarrass me like that? You don't even believe that yourself. It's okay, though. You don't even believe that yourself. It's okay. Thank you. It's okay. All right, you don't, you don't have to, listen, you don't have to believe it because he's trying to make it. She do, right. she believes everything. Okay. Right. So, lie detector test. I have exactly. the results. That's something to believe. That's no. something to believe. No, no, no. So, trying to face each other. Okay. He ain't gonna do no hit. <laughs> no, come on. Why are you so afraid? Oh, no, nah, look, what's up? Are you afraid? No, what's up? Okay. All right. We asked Zali, other than the time you admitted to Ebony that you received oral sex from a girl this summer, have you engaged in oral sex with anyone other than Ebony? Zali confessed and said yes. So you had. He confessed. He said oral sex. Listen to the question. Okay. Oral sex. Okay, come on. You know, that's, 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 it's you're okay. smarter than me. That's it's okay. It's okay. I told you. It's okay. It's okay. Let, let, let us finish. We asked Zali, have you had intercourse with anyone other than Ebony since the two of you have been exclusive? Guess what? He confessed and said yes. So he's been cheating on you. Oral and sex. Why the f you lie to me? Why would you lie to me and embarrass me like that? So basically. Yo, you you are done, yo. You are embarrassment. Like that's sick. That's sick, man. That's unnecessary, yo. It's okay. So, it, it don't mean nothing. I'm right. sure it don't. So it's he confessed okay. to oral and now, intercourse. Yep. I'm not even gonna bother with it. I'm gonna let karma handle your ass for real. Okay. That's what I'm gonna deal with. You I can handle it. It's okay. You're it's all good. Last night. It's all good. So I You're take it. This is over. Last it's night. over. That that's right. This is over because he lied to me. He lied. He really lied to okay. me. And I gave him the opportunity to be honest. Well, you don't deserve somebody's gonna cheat on you. I don't. Once a cheater. Always a cheater. There's much more to come as we look back at the most memorable cheating stories of the past season. When we return, a woman suspects that her girlfriend is cheating with men. A pair of boxer shorts in the bedroom that she shares with her girlfriend, Caitlin, she began to suspect that Caitlin was cheating with men. Even though Caitlin claims the boxers are hers, April still isn't convinced that she's telling the truth. Take a look. So I, so I have a question. Tell me about the boxer shorts. Can I tell about the boxers? I wanted smaller shorts. I bought a lot of smaller clothes. Two sizes smaller? Yes. But you ain't gonna lose weight like that in 50 minutes. Well, you want me to lose weight? You call me fat all the time. The thing is, Kaylin, do you, do you like men or do you like women? Or She knows I've liked both. I was with a man before I was with her. Okay. You're very emotional. I, I, well, yeah. This is three years of my life. It's, it's, I can't do it. I can't be in something for the rest of my life that doesn't mean anything to her. What's the point of being with somebody who's gonna go behind my back with somebody she's obviously been <laughs> for three years? Yeah. Well, you came here for answers, right? Yeah. Um, I have the lie detector test here. Stand up, face each other. <laughs> uh, come over here. Me? All right. You wanna put your shoes down? I don't want you hitting her. I like my shoes. Oh, okay. I like my shoes. We asked Caitlin, when April found boxes next to the bed and you claimed they were yours, were they really from a man you were cheating with? You said no. Lady Tate determined that was the truth. Oh, yeah? Okay. All right? Yeah. You want to say anything? Okay. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. We asked Caitlin, since dating April, have you had sexual contact, oral sex, or sexual intercourse with <laughs> any men that she doesn't know about? If you fail this, I want the ring. You oh, did know. Lie detector determined, however, that was a lie. <laughs> You want answers, right? Well, that's what we're here.
stand here for a second. Kaylin. Yes. Come here. You sit there. You sit there. <laughs> Came for answers. You got the answers. Here we go. One more question. We asked Caitlin, have you slept with the father of your child since getting pregnant by him? You answered no. Lie detector, however, determined that was a lie. So, the answers are pretty clear, right? You're gone. Just know that. You're not taking my son from me. Don't go away. When we return, we'll meet a husband who wants to find out if his wife has been cheating and the secret he's been keeping from her. When my next guest, John, suspected his wife, Rethia, of cheating, he brought her on the show to find out the truth. But he also had a secret for her that she didn't see coming. So, John, what brings you to the show? Well, basically, when I first got with this girl, things was going good. Like, you know, like Jay-Z and Beyonce, you feel me? Yeah. <laughs> like, it was going great. I got along with the kids, everything going good. Okay. Her, uh, her stepmom uh, hooked us up. We met at our cousin's house. Everything was just going peaches and cream just. One day, the sex life just went to the left. No sex. You having some issues? Yeah, some issues. Constantly on the phone. Constantly, you know, starting off sleeping in other rooms. You know, she in the kids' room. I'm in my room. Like, what kind of marriage is that? You know, we on the phone late night, texting and texting in front of the room. She texting from our room instead of coming and talking to each other. You know, no communication, no nothing. So you never caught her cheating on you? I never account, really you know? caught her cheating, but like one day I was having her braid this guy hair. She was supposed to braid his hair for money. Instead of braiding his hair for money, she started texting him about his relationship, and I thought that was kind of suspicious. Okay. And I really didn't catch her or nothing, but it was a lot of late So you brought her here on. today to take a lie detector test to see yeah. if she Once she showed that lie detector test, hey, we could work everything out from there. Okay. Keep on adding on strong. So... Let what? all the truth be out. You know, let all the truth come to life. Well, I think uh, we've heard your side, John. Let's... Uh, Rita coming out. Like that for the national superhero. Hey, I'm just trying to keep it That's all out. No, because I'm just trying to keep it all out. It's not even all like that, but I'm well, just trying to get to the point to what I did. Well, let's just like to tell the truth. Let's just like tell the truth. Okay. Okay. Rita, huh. how are you? Welcome. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Welcome. So, how would you describe your relationship? Well, at first it was all right, but then um, don't put it all on me now. Things started to change in your relationship in year three? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. And but what I admit to what I did about texting or whatever. Yeah, I admit to that, texting or whatever, but as of sexual and all that, no. Do you know that John thinks you're cheating on him? Yeah, I know that because he's not supposed to bring that up, but he still keep hundering that over my head and okay. stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, you never had sex with him? No, I didn't have. Okay, so it was became a friend? Yeah, he became a friend, and I did talk to him. Why do I get See, this? See, I admitted to everything, though. Okay. See, I'm not lying. So John <laughs> caught you texting, this guy? Yeah, he did. Okay. So what were you texting the guy? We are just talking back and forth, because I was talking about him. Because he was asking me questions, like, your dude affection and all that stuff. I say, mm-mm. -mm. And I say, no. So he was flirting with you on the phone? Yes, just flirting. And you were answering the questions? And I was answering the so questions. So you were flirting back with him? Yes. So I admit mean to it, I ain't lying. So how have those accusations of cheating affected your relationship? A lot, because he still think I'm doing it. Okay. You moved houses, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so how did you move But I wonder why we different... had to move houses all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm asking... It was his plan. Do you think there's a chance that he's cheating on you? It's a possibility. Okay, you came here for answers. Rithia, we ask you, did you have sexual relations <laughs> with a man John caught you texting a year ago? <laughs> your answer was no. no. The lie detector, however, said you were telling the truth. <laughs> we asked Rita, do you have any sexual relations with any men other than John when going out late with your friends? Your answer was no. The lie detector determined you were telling the truth. <laughs> we asked you, Rita, have you had sexual relations with any man besides John since you've been together? Your answer, no. Lie detector said, 
you telling the truth. So, I think you have your answers to is she cheating with you? Mm. The answer is no. Mm -hmm. No, what he going So what are you going to say? He needed to Do you need to say I'm sorry or do you need to say what are you going to say? Well, I apologize. That's right. Thank you. Okay. But, but wait, but wait, 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 but wait. Something ain't right, huh? Yeah. Is there something else you want to talk to Rita about? Yeah, I have a secret to tell you. <laughs> that at your mom house, well, I cheated on you. And you moved houses suddenly, why? Well, I moved houses because, you know, I didn't want to still have, hold on to the same relationship with that, so... Me and her would have been kept on intimate, so I just decided to move away mm -mm -mm. so it won't so get And how long have you been together? Can I get off stage for a minute? Because it's some What do you feel right now? Yeah. Mm -mm. How long were you cheating on her with this neighbor? Just a couple months. You lied to her, and you moved her. I apologize for all of that. Lying to you. But you saw when we moved for better, so we could be able to, like... Yeah, we did. It was for better. We ain't arguing about it, the same stuff. Are you gonna Your stay mom with him? and them was always in our business. Are you gonna, are you gonna keep him? Yeah. I know what I did, but I'm still gonna be with them, though. I'm not gonna, like, leave my marriage for, some, for no other female. I'll let the other female think that she get the upper hand. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I understand the psychology, but... So, you you know. didn't do anything wrong with this guy I in the know, car, and he cheated on you. And I, I, that, I just find that very I know. Weird. But I'm just showing him how loyal I am, you know? Okay. Okay. If you want to keep her, you need to do the right things. Mm -hmm. And as a self-respected woman, you need to stand up and do whatever you need to do to make sure that he doesn't do this again. Because normally, it's a reoccurring pattern. It's like we're playing like a game. It's something. a game. Like it's a cat and mouse. Nick and He'll push it as far as he can until you catch him. Like if you don't Nick. catch him, he'll probably continue. We'll have more tales of cheating from the past season right after this. Trisha let her sisters Alexis and Antoine Dacia come to live with her, hoping to give them a better life. But instead, they ended up disrespecting her and taking advantage of her kindness. She even suspects that one of them was sleeping with her boyfriend. What is going on, Patricia? Robert, I think one of my sisters is sleeping with my man. <laughs> yes, I have two sisters, Lexis and Twandasha, and they've been, they came and stay with me. And they're freeloaders. They trash my house. And when I confront them about it, they're very disrespectful to me. They're out of control. So, Alexis, you, you say, is a... Well, she sleeps around, she's a yeah. slut? Yeah, she, she is out of control, yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. So you think she slept with your boyfriend? Yes, I do. Why do you think that? Well, because they're always together, talking, side corner, inside jokes. I caught them in the bed one day watching a movie. Okay, so I got a picture of this. In bed, fully clothed, watching a movie. On the bed, well, watching... Well, Lexus is always in the short shorts. So she had on the short shorts and the tank top in the bed. And they were under the bed. covers? No, they were on top of the covers, but, I mean, the covers weren't made. The bed wasn't made like okay. I made it. Did you say, hey, whoa, what's going on? Right. I was like, what y'all doing, you know? She's like, oh, we're just watching a movie. We're just, we're just chilling, watching a movie. And I'm like, okay. Yeah. And you believe that? You know, I didn't believe it. But, but you left, you left I alone? I left it alone. Okay. I left it alone. I didn't want to believe it. Has Alexis texted any of your boyfriends? Yes. I've caught a text in my guy's phone. And I'm like, what's this? You know, uh, it was more or less like, uh, is she there? No, she's not here. Okay, I'm on my way. So you say Alexis is the, the kind of the slutty one? Yeah. She sleeps around. Does Twan Desha do the same thing? Well, she's just more or less the... I don't care type of person, the disrespectful type of person, the, okay. the, the one that, that, that doesn't want to clean up behind herself. You know, she tries to act sweet and innocent, but she's not. Well, it's time to meet your sister, your baby sister.
disrespect you gotta give it, you right? You disrespect me at all. I don't and care. that makes me crazy. I don't care. Why are you texting her boyfriend? She has a birthday coming up. Okay. And really? We, is that what you're gonna? I mean, oh. what do you want me to say? You want me to lie? That's crazy. But didn't I you read to some you. didn't yeah. you read some of the text? Yeah. Is she there? And what did they say? Is she there? No, okay, I'm on my way. Oh. We were just watching. So what were you doing? Sitting on the bed planning the menu? Yeah. Yeah, what was chilling. up with the bad movie thing? What's up with that? Y'all was in the bed. You had on those shorts. What's up with that? We just watching TV. There's almost, what's the issue with watching TV? In the bed with my dude, though. That's okay. It's not okay. How is it not? Just say no because you feel insecure. That's not my no, problem. You say no, so I'm your big sister. You respect me more than that. Okay. Do, you think she's, do you think Patricia is jealous of you? Of course she's jealous of me. Jealous why, why? I'm why? young. I'm young. I'm pretty. Okay. I can do whatever yeah. I want. If you're so pretty, so young, why are you always in my dude's face? Yeah. Why are you always pushing up on me? So I, oh. Say that again. Your dude's like me. Your dude's want Oh, they want to be your best friend. Yeah. Have you ever so had sex with any, yeah. of, have any of her boyfriends? No. And that's the crazy part about this. But why do you, I wear why what do you I want to wear. I don't want none, any of your men. Why do you two say that your sister is a real problem? Because she always tells us what to do. Like, we grown. We can act, like, we can act adult when we are around. We ain't got to be all getting it like we little children. OK, but if y'all act like adults, then I wouldn't yell like y'all was children. All I ask is that you respect my house and respect yourself. We do respect the house and do respect ourselves. You know what I'm saying? And that's all I'm trying to say. Just stay focused. And at the end of the day, if y'all can't abide by my rules, like Robert said, y'all going to have to go. Yeah. <laughs> Did you, did you guys? Your rules. Did you just hear that, Robert? Did you? You, you can't abide by, by their rules. Then we can. You can have friends. Do you have ever contribute? Do you contribute both of you money or anything to the household? No, she don't respect us. She don't put none of no. our keys into. So you, so don't you don't, you don't put any money, money whatsoever. No money at all. So, so why do you? What do you do with your money? You work? Um, by myself. We're young. We have we parties. We have friends. There are clubs. We go have fun. You suck off your sister. Okay. That's what she you both do. Care of me, She's not supposed to take care, care of you. Okay. She's done it for 14 years old. Okay. You yeah, both. You so both are supposed to pay. She's doing her responsibilities, and we're doing. Her responsibilities. You know what I would do? I would kick them both out. Yeah. There's more to come after the break. Don't go away. Coming up. Are you cheating on Sierra? No, I'm not. Uh, she, I don't know what's wrong with her, yo. I'm going to ask the audience, is it a problem with me having a drink with a co-worker yeah. or a friend? Yeah. 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 I don't know why you're talking to them because they're she not knows. listening to you. After the break. Close captioning for The Robert Irvine Show is provided by... Welcome back. In our final cheating story, my guest Sierra says that her boyfriend, Basim, is living the party lifestyle instead of spending time with her and their three-year-old son. She also thinks that he's been unfaithful. Take a look. So, what do you mean when you say uh, be faithful to you and your son? Be faithful to me by being loyal to me and be faithful to my son for being there for him. You know, he's there financially, but he's not there, you know, spending time with him, take him to the barbershop. Watch TV with him, like, he don't do nothing. Don't take him to school, he don't make him breakfast, he don't make him dinner, he don't and, do and nothing. And your son is three years old, right? Yeah, he's three. You found Cody sex messages texting in his phone? Yeah, he came in the house late one night, and he was drunk, and he got an iPhone, so I put his finger on his phone, unlocked the phone, and went through his messages, and I seen a message from some girl talking about some, did you enjoy it? And I'm like, what is this? What does she mean? He said, oh, she was talking about um, when we went out, did I enjoy spending time with her? No, that's, that's I'm not hearing that. Okay. I know what it is. Is there any other proof? Um, you say lipstick, lipstick on a shirt. 
What color lipstick? Is it yours? No, Could I don't yours? wear lipstick, so... You look like you're wearing lipstick. Well, yeah. I know, yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> so could it come Could it come from somebody... Could it come from, you know, like I asked the audience, could it come from somebody hugging him? A friend? No, no. It was. It looked like somebody was biting on his neck. Like, oh. I'm not stupid. What, what did he oh say? It came from he said wow. it, a girl put it there. His, his friend did it on purpose, oh, whatever the case to be. Oh, whatever. I'm like, boy, bye. Hey, he yo, said, she... oh, she don't like you, so she wanna, you know, make you jealous. But at the end of the day, if it is true, I'm gonna be when I get home. Because, like, you try to play me now. Like, don't okay. try to play me. Do not try to play me, because so, I don't go for that. Welcome to the show. Are you cheating on Sierra? No, I'm not. Um, she, I don't know what's wrong with her, yo. Every time I go out, I come home from work, I come home, I go out, she think I'm cheating. My friends gave me a, my friend gave me a hug on my, uh, on my, on, she gave me a hug. Her lip hit my Hit my collar. He's a liar. And dream. That's it. Like, neck. His suck his neck. His his neck. Suck his neck. Well, what about the way suck on my neck? Like, how, how dumb is that? What about the text right, messages? So she gonna get what about the how text about messages? I went out to have a, I got off of work. I went out, I had a drink, and I came home. Like, I don't understand. What the, you what, came like, home what's the at problem? Five in the morning. Well, what, what? I just got the so didn't one of the text Wait, to, didn't one of the text messages say did you See, enjoy it as much as I did? I went out and had a drink. Like, what's the problem? What's the problem? Is it a problem? I'm gonna ask the audience. Is it a problem with me having a drink with a coworker or a friend? Do you think you live a party? Do you live a party lifestyle? I'm saying I'm in the loop. I'm 30. I'm 36. I'm in the loop. Like, he lives I mean, a party rock. Hey, I'm a rock he star. Comes home late all I'm a rock the star. Like, I'm a rock star. Who? I'm a rock star. You're not a rock star. I'm you're a rock lame. Star. You're lame as hell. I'm a rock you're star. lame. You're I'm lame. lame. I'm lame. So you have a three year old, right? You have a three year old, and your son doesn't even re he barely knows it's anything about stupid. you. Like, so, I'm lame. So, what do you so, do with your son? Do you, I don't want to mess with you. You're bugging. You're bugging. So, so. I don't know why you're talking to them because they're she's not doing, listening to you. Yes, you should be talking to me. Exactly. Nah, they, they listen to me. He don't, he don't follow he instructions. So you have a three-year-old son, right? Yeah. Do you spend time with your three-year-old son? Yeah. What, what do you What do you do with your three What do you do with your three-year-old son? First of all, for all his birthdays, I pay for everything. Okay, well that's your job. What do you do as a dad for your three-year-old son? I go to the park. No, you when don't. I got time, I, when I got time, you don't have time. I, 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 I take him out. So if I team. say if I say what? once, how many times a week do you do that? I work a lot of hours though. Like you so understand that too though. Let's ask I build, look, let's this is what I do. This is what I do. Listen, this is what I do. So I build scaffolds and I do construction. So if anybody know about that field, you I'll be at work 10, 12 hours a day sometimes. When I come home, stop at the bar, I might want to drink or two. Come home. Once I start talking, once I drink, I like to I'm talk. over him. All right, so nobody's listening to you. You came here for answers, right? We give him a lie detector test. Now here's the thing. If he fails the lie detector test. What happens? If he fails the lie detector test, I ain't feeling he nothing, think that bro. his got moved out before. I don't want to see his I'm not feeling he nothing. Out. I don't want nothing I'm to not do with him if he nothing. fails his lie detector okay. test. I already nothing. don't want nothing to do with him I'm now. So imagine nothing. if he fails the lie detector Yo, that's test. that's crazy. Don't go away because after the break, we'll find out if Bazim has been lying or if he's been telling the truth. You won't want to miss it. Oh, here we go. Stand up and face each other. <sighs> Right in front of each other. All right, so Would you we asked Basim, other than the one time Sierra knows about, Listen. have you had sexual intercourse with any other women? Basim said no. Lie detector determined, however, what? that was a lie. Oh! Come here. Go off your heart rate. Okay. But Let's anyway. Go off your heart rate. When he so asked, we asked Basim, you know? have you had sexual relations or sexual intercourse with more than five women since being in a relationship with Sierra? No. Basim admitted yes. 
The lie detector determined that he was telling the truth. What? That was a confession. Oh. I confessed lies. Come on, why, why would I say that? Yo, it's taking all of me not to like. Why, why would I say right that? Now, like, why? She don't even act like this. She putting the show on. She don't even act like yeah, this. Yeah, yo, what's wrong with you, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You really yeah. believe that? What else am I supposed to believe? You're a liar. You really believe that? Okay, okay. You're, 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 so so what? So what you're saying is, what you're saying is... It's a lie detector test. It lies. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's a lie detector test. I think it's, I think it's the person... You're that, a liar. I think it's the person... I think it's the person, not, not the lie detector test. Sierra deserves better than him, and I hope that she finds that someone special to help her raise her son. I wish her all the best. That's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to visit me online at therobertermineshow.com or on my social media pages. And remember, if you ever decide to cheat on your partner, take a minute to ask yourself this. Is it worth the consequences, as it's not only you that will be affected? See you next time.